at the gym, got to do the work. At the same time, I got to think about what to get for Christmas. What would I want for Christmas? What can it be? Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to an all-new episode of Brian's Jerky Journey, a sweet one. Episode Sweet 16. I'm your host and the place to be, the notorious Brian G. And hope you guys are having a great day. It is uh, Saturday afternoon here and getting ready for a holiday party. So you can see as evidenced by my Halloween, uh, Halloween <laughs> holiday shirt. <laughs> um, I actually do like to have uh, funny t-shirts from time to time. And I saw this one the other day when I was buying uh, the jerky I'm going to review this week. And um, thought I was due to get a new shirt. So, And I've been feeling pretty good lately. So I've uh, been hitting the gym regularly, watching what I've been eating. Uh, fortunately, I can state now that I'm weight-wise at what I was prior to my episode when I got the shingles back in April. When I put on some weight. So it took a while to get there, but I'm there. And um, the key now is to stay there and move forward. So um, it's been kind of a tough week uh, from an exercise standpoint uh, because here up in New England, we got hit with over two feet of snow over like a two and a half day period. So that kind of ate into the time that I would have spent doing um, exercise anyway. And um, probably the peak of it happened on Tuesday when the last of the snow fell and I hadn't gone to the gym in like two and a half days. And for me, that's a big thing. I usually try to go you know, every day I average four to five times a week. So I'll have a day off here and there, but never more than one and more than two days off in a row. And that was the case. And Tuesday I decided, um, I stayed home because it was a snow day with first Monday and Tuesday. The week were snow days for my kids. Wife was off Monday. So I went into work. Wife had to work Tuesday morning. So I stayed home. And when she came home, uh, earlier on Tuesday, because of the weather, I decided to go to the gym and she had done most of the, the shoveling. And, um, <laughs> I went to, do my workout and my cardio and I didn't swim because I knew I had to come back to finish shoveling and when I came back I not only did I have to kind of finish up the shoveling that I was doing um, in the back but we also have like a I think like a 16 foot uh, roof rake that I had to go and roof rake uh, the snow off the roof as well because we have solar panels on our roof and um, I had to take that off because you don't want to let that stuff sit and you don't want ice dams to form and all that so um, when it was all said and done, I done with my full workout about an hour and 45 minutes, which is be between the stretching, the weight training, and the cardio, and then another 90 minutes outside that night shoveling. So it was exhausting. And then Wednesday, I um, I had gotten so much cardio technically from the shoveling, I decided to forego cardio and just swim on top of the last of my weight days. So basically, I and I tried to get a baseline of 36 lap swam a week. And I was so behind last week because of the, the days lost. Um, I usually try to do nine laps each time I go. And I decided to do 12 laps on set on Wednesday. So it was more than I bargained for. And then Thursday and Friday were just busy days at work. Um, and then today's a busy day as well. So it's going to be three days, probably three and a half days before I'm able to go back, which sucks. But at the same time, it is what it is. It's time of year. But anyway, um, so I... I had reviewed the, the, the jerky I'm going to review today. I, I saw in the store and I'm actually starting to see less options now, the more reviews that I'm doing. So um, I got the Jack Links. So I'd done a Jack Links before, but this one is called Extra Tender Original. So I'm my assumption right now is on the, uh, the texture and tenderness side, it's going to probably be higher than normal because of the fact that they're stating it being extra tender. So, And I was kind of taking an initial feel at the product in the bag and it does feel tender, uh, more more tender than what I would normally feel. But um, yeah, so I just thought I would uh, check this one out. It's seasoned and smoked beef steak strips. So it's probably more on the steak side of the jerky. Um, uh, good source protein, smoked to perfection, made from premium cuts of lean beef. Um, this is a three ounce pack, 2.85 ounce package, but they're saying there's three servings in this package. Standard serving size is your standard one ounce. So it's 80 calories, 10 calories from fat, one gram of total fat, no saturated or trans fats, 25 grams of cholesterol, 25 milligrams of cholesterol, 510 milligrams of sodium, 
five grams of carbs, no dietary fiber, five grams of sugar, and 10 grams of protein. Um, and let's see if there's anything else here. There's actually a little uh, expiration thing right here at the bottom. So this one tells you it's best by, it's best of use by July 1st, 2020. Um, and seeing if there's anything else here worth mentioning. Fresh lock zipper. They tout the 80 calories right in the front here. So it says 80 calories, made premium beef, good source of protein, gluten-free. So if uh, you're gluten-free, this is a good option for you. So let's dig into this. Uh, tenderness and texture. As I said before, this is the extra tender. So my feeling is it's going to be fairly high on a, a five-point scale. And the initial scent. So initial scent is um, kind of basic, original. Um, tenderness and texture. So the texture is firm. See right there. And yeah, it feels kind of dry. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed. If I figured extra tender would probably be really, you know, tender. Well, it's coming off easily. So uh, I'm not saying terrible, I'm saying coming off easier. So, um, so I'm gonna give a kind of safe rake. I'll give a four out of five for this. Uh, scent and smell. So initial scent, you kind of smell this the smokiness here. It's this. It's seasoned and smoked. So. Getting a whiff out of it. You guys take a whiff out of it as well. I'll try to take a you know, touch it, see if you can see how it feels. But um, it's got a de decent smokiness. Um, the smokiness gives it kind of a decent scent, but nothing that kind of you know um, kind of appeals like uh, appeals me based off the scent. So I'm actually going to give this a three for a scent and smell, and then chewiness and taste. As Ryback would say on his food reviews, I need more information. So it's got a nice taste to it. The smoky, uh, it's definitely, you get the smokiness. You can taste the smokiness that they talk about and smell when you when you open it. So it's not bad. So I'm going to give this a four uh, out of five on the um, uh, chewiness and taste. So I'll gather that up. I actually have a little grid now that I just plug the numbers in when I do my... Uh, post-launch, uh, post-video reviews. Hope you guys like my haircut. Actually, the uh, last couple months I've been toying with cutting it shorter and shorter each time. Um, this time they actually took a one, which is basically shaving it off on the sides. I'm still toying with the top. I don't want to lose the top here because I have nothing back here. So, um, so yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. Um, a couple more weeks until Christmas. Hope you guys are getting a good head start on your Christmas shopping. It's a short holiday season this year. I know for me, professionally, it's been kind of an interesting year um, on e-commerce sales side because Cyber Monday this year is on a, in December. And um, so that kind of hit, that kind of hurt my November numbers. But now we're going to be kind of looking at it two factors. We're going to say, all right, the sales are lower. Let's make sure our return on investment is higher, which it is. And then we'll look at November and December combined compared to our goal there. And so far in December, we're, we're doing very well, um, which should be the case. We should probably be more than three quarters to our goal halfway through the month. And then the second half of the month with the holidays and um, pretty much past the shipping deadline to get your products by Christmas, it'll start to scale back. So it'll scale back. We'll just keep the cost scale back, keep our return on investment high, and we should hit our number for December and maybe be in a position where we're exceeding that number in December so that our cumulative for the last two months are good. And things are going well. But things are going well for the most part. Love what I'm doing there. Great bunch of people I'm working with. Um, I'm happy there. I mean, I'll be there five years in July. And I'm just, I'm stoked. Um, it's a nice combination of being able to do what I enjoy at work. And doing stuff that I enjoy outside of work. So, but uh, yeah, that'll do it for this episode. Sweet 16 episode of Brian's Jerky Journey. Um, I am eventually going to be sampling the um, Charleston, South Carolina House of Jerky, Teriyaki Salmon, and Teriyaki Beef Jerky. Uh, unfortunately, they were the only ones, my coworker from Charleston was the only one who uh, delivered and actually getting me product. So my um, my sister forgot to do it, and um, uh, who was my best friend, or whom I don't speak with anymore, wasn't able to, uh, to make the time to see me, uh, to get it to me. So, um, but that's on another day. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, I actually do have um, another vendor sending me product. I still have Wicked Cuts. Uh, product that I have to do. I bought some additional Wicked Cuts products and I have another vendor who 
is sending me product uh, that I will announce once I receive it as well, just like I did with Wicked Cuts. So it's doing very well over on my Facebook side of Brian's Jerky Journey. We're over 200 likes thus far. Uh, big jump in subscribers there. So thank you to those that have recommended it, uh, those that have uh, liked the page. Uh, let's just try to go over to the... Um, Oops. Let's just try to get over to the, uh, the the YouTube side of things as well. So, but uh, that'll do it for this uh, now blackout version of Ryan's Jerky Journey. Um, you can find me uh, like this uh, video, subscribe to this channel to watch past and future videos, and then you can catch me on my other social media channels: Brian Jerky Journey on Facebook, BG Jerky Journey on Twitter, and Brian Jerky Journey on Instagram. So that'll do it for this episode of Brian's Jerky Journey, Sweet Sixteen. I hope you enjoy the journey, and you'll join me in the next one. Thanks. Thank you for watching Brown's Jerky Journey. If you don't like jerky, you suck.